Today, I'll be showing you how to add different types of transitions in your game. So, without further ado, let's get started. What this tutorial will mainly be using is tween and some other things. So, what I have here is basically just a normal platformer template. I have a ground with this solid behavior attached to it, a player, and an exit ticket, and that's about it. In the code, I don't have much, just the player uh, setting itself to the player collision box, and that's about it. I have previously made a video similar to this. It is the fade uh, transition, but it's quite basic. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'll be showing you mainly uh, three types of transitions, but you can also add to that because it's just the same, uh, sorry, I mean, it's just the tween behavior, and you can innovate and create your own transitions. So, the first one I'll be showing you is the screen wipe. So, basically, a, a sprite that'll be, uh, in, the, in my case, just a solid color. So, let me just call this transition. This will wipe through the screen, and in that process, a new level will be, uh, uh, we will go to the new level. So you can make this any color, I'll just make this uh, a shade of gray here, and fill that in. I'll right click here, and go to align, and cover the layout. I'll c I'm covering the layout because uh, I have the scroll to behavior attached to the player. What I'll also do is right click. Add another layer and call this transition and then select our transition sprite and put that in the transition layer. Now what I'll also do is go into our transition and set that parallax to 0 by 0 meaning it won't uh, scroll with the player. Now I'll go to my sprite behaviors and add a behavior and this will be our tween behavior. So in the code section, what we need to do is come here and then add an event, sorry, I mean right click and create our function. This will be our main transition function, so I'll name this transition. Now what I'll do is add an action, go to our transition and search for set visible and set it to be visible. Now add another action, go to our transition and search for tween. You'll be choosing the two properties and double click to confirm. You can put in any tag you want in here, but since I'm using only one tween, it's not necessary. Uh, set the property to be position and the index to be self.x because we don't want our x to change in our case. And our, for our self.y, we can actually go and check here. So if we drag this down to our desired location around here, you can see it's right it's 3239. We can round this off to 3240. So we can come here and see 3240. Um, for our time, you can choose any time. Uh, usually, it's quite a short time because you don't want to wait a huge amount of time for a transition. So I'll be choosing one second. But you can also choose lower. Now I'll be adding an action. Sorry, we'll be. Uh, right clicking on our function and then adding a blank sum event and coming to our transition and searching for is playing and select our tween and again if you have a tag entered in your uh, tag entered in for your tween when you're calling it you should put that tag here but since i don't have a tag it's not necessary you'll press i to invert this meaning that it's not playing then you'll come here and search for set visible and then set it to be invisible now what you also do is set the uh, position of the transition sprite back to its original position so if you go to our layout one we can roughly estimate the position and copy this coordinate here and come back to our uh, this w event here go to our transition and search for set position paste that in and copy the second number so that's minus 1244 four in my case. Sorry, 1124. One, and then that will be our coordinate. So that's our transition done. Well, not quite because that's just the tween part done. But just to test if it works, I'm going to uh, going on be going on keyboard and key press space 
and then calling this function this won't be permanent a uh, permanent uh, just to show you that it works so as you can see if we press space this sweeps by and in a pretty nice manner and then it um, goes back to its original position now as for our uh, the main part changing our scene what we need to do first is actually just create another level so what I'm just going to do is change something so we know there's a difference so that should be an okay difference I think now what I'm going to do is come into our event sheet and in our transition we're going to be right clicking and adding a blank sub event in this we're going to be searching going to our uh, tween here and is playing and then done so what we need to do is if we are playing we need to wait for some time so as you know this tween goes on for one second and we need to change in that uh, that uh, our scene in basically uh, the middle of it so I'm going to do 0 0.3 um, it should be 0 0.5, but 0 0.3 just gives you a bit of a leeway. Now, what you need to do is go to System and search for Go to Next Layout and Next. So, so that's about it. If we play and if I press Space, as you can see, we go back to our next level. One thing we need to do, as uh, is as you saw, that when we go went to the next scene. Uh, this uh, transition got destroyed that that's because it's not global so what we need to make uh what we need to do to make it global is click select our sprite and click global now if we try this out and if we press space as you can see we seamlessly uh go to the next layout now the second one i'll be showing you is a zoom in effect basically this will start off as really tiny one thing you should note is that you can change uh, this to whatever you like because tween is really versatile and it's uh, you can make uh, lots of things with it not just transitions but in the case of transitions you can make so many transitions and yeah and then just put this somewhere here it doesn't matter what we need to do is note the center of our layout our, our layout so to find this we can go to our align layout and horizontal and same with our vertical so align layout sorry align layout and then vertical so this is the center as you can see it's 9020 by 1080 so you can copy that what you can also do is come here and make this uh, check the initially visible box so it's it will be invisible when you play the game so in our invent sheet we need to get rid of uh some things here not much because it we still will be using our tween just in a different way so instead of position we need to do our size and we need to choose a, a an appropriate size here so usually it's the size of the layout so as you can see the size of the layout is uh, this number here so 3840 by 200 2160 so that's what we need to go for the size so we will copy our second number and put that into the end y here and remove that x here uh, for our time i'll just let it be one second uh, instead of setting our position what i'll do is remove that and then that's basically what we need but what right now what will happen is it will zoom in change the level and then nothing will happen so to fix this what we need to do here is when we go to our next layout we need to call another tween here and in here we'll be setting our end x and end y both to zero so zero and zero uh my bad it actually needs to be uh, the center of the viewport not the layout so in our case it is 960 by 540 so what we need to do is set our position when we are transitioning Oh my gosh so this is the thing we need so 940 by 540 960 by 540 so we need to set our position to that so this is our position and we actually need to do this in the start 
in our case, uh, in this uh, transition, we need to wait a bit longer. So, uh, for one second, we need to wait 0 0.5, 0 0.7 seconds. And, yep, that's about it. If we press play here, and if I press space, as you can see, we zoom in and zoom out, and we are in the next level. So, that is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!